All right, it's time for something fun. Let's look at how we would make the Geometry Wars bomb, where you press a button and it just kills all the enemies around you because you're being swarmed. So the first thing we want to do is create a bomb button. Because remember, this game is going to be playable both with the controller and the keyboard. So I'm going to open my project settings. And I want to go down on the left here to input. Now we fixed these axis mappings all the way back when we set the project up. But we are going to create an action mapping. So I want to click the plus sign here. And I have a new action mapping one. And I'm going to call it a uh, bomb because that's what it is. And I'm going to go ahead and press keyboard here and use spacebar. And I'm going to hit the plus next to bomb so that I can assign another one to it. And uh, I'm going to press the B button on my controller. Now this says gamepad face button right. So you could go to gamepad and you want face button right. And if you would prefer, you can have it be the right trigger, uh, not axis, but right trigger itself, uh, or the right shoulder, whichever you feel, or multiple of the triggers. If you like it better, go for it. Uh, once you've set this up, we go ahead and close our project settings. And we want to open our twin stick pawn. Now, what's kind of cool is we don't need much of anything to do this. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And we need um, to go ahead and do a bomb, which is our action event. So here we are. Input action, bomb. So if bomb is pressed, uh, we want to go ahead and we want to uh, apply radial damage. So this is our AOE damage. And it wants an origin for the damage. Well, that should be us, we're the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get actor location that's us then it wants to know how much damage to deal well so far we've made most of our enemies take one hp to three hp so if we want to kill everything on the screen within the aoe let's say 50 super overkill uh then it needs a damage type we got to make sure we choose player damage so that it actually damages our enemy uh we can come down here now uh, we want to make sure it does full damage. And then lastly, we want the radius. And this is the radius around the origin, which is us. So, um, you know, a 1,000 or so, maybe 2,000 would give us a nice big round area. I'll start with a 1,000. Um, and this is going to let us hit spacebar over and over again and murder everything. So we don't really want that. So let's make a new variable. And I'm going to call it uh, bombs, or maybe bomb count. It's how many bombs I have. I'm going to make it an integer. Compile, and let's say that by default I get to start with three. And this is a gameplay variable, so I could drag it in here if I wanted, just to keep everything clean. So now I have three as my default bombs. So when we press the bomb button, we're going to uh, compare int, right? Compare our bomb count with zero. Is the number of bombs we have greater than zero? If so, bomb count, I'm going to press minus minus. Decrement is the opposite of plus plus. Basically, subtract one from bomb and save it as bomb. Uh, and then apply my radial damage. So now I can only do it three times. But perhaps you could have a power up that gives you an extra bomb. Or if I get to a certain score level, it gives me an extra bomb. Uh, you probably want to show it on your HUD. All those things are good things to do with it. But now we have it. We've sort of gamified it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And if I walk up here by a bunch of enemies and press spacebar, it 
will kill a bunch. Now you may notice that it didn't kill all of them. And this is because of a little quirk with how the radial damage works. It, it casts from wherever it happens and it only blows up things it can see. So the ones that didn't blow up were blocked by other enemies. And this is kind of a pain to fix, actually. You have to do a whole bunch with setting up a different type of collision and fixing stuff here. And, and I looked for a simple, easy fix for this, and there isn't one, uh, at least that I could find right now. Now, there is a solution to this. Uh, as much as we can only press spacebar three times, nothing says the bomb only has to go off once from a programming perspective. So I could copy this and paste it, and have it apply the radial damage three times, we'll say. So now it's definitely going to kill everything in the radius. Uh, and I'll use the same origin for now. But now it's going to happen three times. So unless something has three enemies, or you have so many enemies on the screen, it's going to kill quite a bit in a circle around you. Um, you could actually have a different origin for each one. For example, you could uh, use some uh, scene components to have sort of it bomb here and bomb here and bomb in front of you and behind you in sort of a cluster bomb situation. Uh, but this, I think, works pretty well for me. I would be up here in the middle of a bunch of enemies, and it gets most of the ones that are next to me. Um, and I still even get points for it. And then you notice I'll get a third one. And then, uh, not that I have other enemies to blow up. Oh, I do. But I'm pressing spacebar, and I can't do it anymore. So I only get three bombs. Uh, I'm going to leave it to you and trust that you could make uh, a, a, a thing that, when I overlap with it, gives me some bomb score back uh, so that I have more bombs. That's sort of your simplest power-up. We'll take this guy off to the side here and make a comment for it and call it a bomb power-up code. Another thing you could do if you'd rather is you could create a timer, um, find your begin play. We actually don't even use begin play in here, I don't think. Oh, here we are, down here by our HUD setup. And we could start a timer that was a specific timer that after every 20 seconds it gives you a bomb. So there's lots of different ways to gamify this. Uh, so that it works.